Welcome guys, welcome to this video. In this video we are going to see how to use Composer to load your PHP files or classes into your application. So uh, this is something when you have an application where you are including files like this using require statement. If it is a small application it's totally alright but if it grows and you scale up the application you need Composer to automatically load uh, files from directories. So you, how you can do it, let's see in this video. Alright, so I have an application here. It's a small application, nothing fancy. Basically what I'm doing here is I'm getting some data and it should displaying it here. So I have a database table where I have some employees data. I'm doing a simple query and getting the ID, name and the age of that particular employee. So if we go up in code, we have an app folder where we have a data controller, which is basically uh, dealing with the query. There is a function that is simply calling it and returning an array. We have a DB class here where we basically connecting to the database and nothing fancy. We also have uh, index.php where we are including these two files one by one. We have the display error on, on top and basically then we are displaying the data here. So this is looping through the older users and displaying it. We have a tests folder as well. That's basically just to include the test files as well so that we can see that using Composer, how can we can include. So I just created another folder to clear the point. All right, so make sure you have the Composer installed in your system. If you're not, you can go to getcomposer.org and you can download from there. So if you have Windows or Mac OS or whatever operating system you have, you can go here and download the Composer and make sure it is installed in your system. So once you have the Composer installed, what do we need to do? We need to open the terminal. So I open the terminal in our code editor. So here, what I'm going to say, I'm going to say Composer. When you hit Composer, it gives you this. That means your Composer is not installed. So make sure when you get the Composer uh, command running, then only you want. So as you saw in my computer, the Composer is not installed, I'm going to install it straight away. So when I go to get Composer.org, I go to download here and I want to do install it for Mac. So for Mac, they have these commands that we can run. For Windows, you get that .exe file that you can install. So uh, let's, let's do it for the Mac here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this command from here and going to go into our terminal this and hit now it says PHP is not uh, installed for this particular reason we need to go to the uh, socks.biz and here in block section all right guys if you face the problem like the PHP not installed in your system as well like we got here command PHP not found you can go to this post uh, the link is in the description as well so here basically we are installing the uh, PHP in the latest uh, Mac OS operating system. So here we can run this command. So I'm just going to copy this and run it. It's going to use Homebrew for it. So we'll go back here. And uh, all right, so we need to run this command. I'm just going to copy it to here. And yeah, now we go here. We open the new tab here and paste the command and run it last password for your system so provide it this will take some time so we need to allow it so basically if I go back here now uh, we have this command running after that now once this command is done installing files run we need to do this these three one by one so we will be doing it Alright, so it's installed the Xcode, now it is doing something, it's downloading the uh, required files, so we need to uh, make sure all co process completes properly, make sure you have a stable internet connection while you're doing this. Running this same command on the uh, Mac terminal is totally fine, I'm doing it in the VS Code, it's the same thing, that doesn't make any difference. So. Alright, so it's, it's 500 MB, so it's a big file. Now, it's proceeding. Uh, 
All right, it completed the stuff that I or was required. Now, if we go back here, we need to run these one by one. So I'm just gonna copy this command now. So yeah, let's go here and paste. It is going to ask you system password. Provide the password. Go back. So we ran one. Now I want to run this one. Let's do the third one now. And the last one, fourth one. All right, now if I go back, let's see if we have to run any more commands. Uh, okay, so we need to run this brew command now. And uh, this is for 8.0. Now we can install the 8.1. So we will go for 8.1. So I go here and I say brew install PHP 8.1. So it's gonna do the stuff and it's gonna install the PHP 8.1 for us. So it's doing it now. This will take some time, so just let it run. And uh, yeah. Once it is complete, we will proceed. So some files are big, and uh, that might take some time, uh, approximately a few minutes to complete the process. So basically it depends totally on your computer's uh, internet speed. So yeah, just uh, be patient while the installation is going on. All right, PHP now installed, and it gave us like that if you want to restart the service, you can simply command to restart PHP so you can do that so if you have a slow internet connection this might take approximately half hour if, but if you have a fast one it should be in a few minutes so I'm gonna clear the screen now I would say here PHP dash dash version and we get that we have PHP 8.1 installed now so at this point we can install the composer so I had to go to Composer website and, and copy this command and run this here. So I clear the screen again, paste the command and run it. Now it is going to install the Composer file for us. This command is going to be pretty quick, so I'm just going to get the second one. Alright, we got it. Go back here, run it. It says install or verified. Now go ahead here. This time we need to run another command, which is the this PHP Composer setup. And paste here. It is downloading the file. Then we have the on link file command here. And here we run that too. Now what we need to do? We need to move the composer to uh, directory and that is given here move to the system directory so that we can use there so what I'm gonna do is paste this here like this password provide for the system now if I run composer and you will notice that we have composer installed so we successfully installed the composer and as well as PHP all right so composer installed now what we can do here we can let's see kind of clear the screen I see. All right, so when we're working with the Composer, we can install packages using Composer and autoload files in the way that you're going to see how to autoload now. So uh, let's do this. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go for here one package PHP unit. And here, if you go to you know, their documentation, and this is one of the ways like how packages we install using Composer. So I'm going to run the command and install this package. And here, when you go to install PHP unit, scroll down, there it should be Composer. So you can see that we have here a package. So I copy the command and I go back to here and run it. Now, what happened here is basically it is going to generate a vendor folder and required files by the package going to be all inside here. And also, it created a composer.json file. So if I go in this file, you will notice we have all required dev and there's one package added there. So we will see about this package later on in some video. But what we 
the basic the main thing here is that now we have a composer.json file and here we can define some settings according to uh, so that we can load our files according to it so what I'm going to do I'm going to clear the this and close it actually and here I'm gonna put a comma and then I'm gonna open curly braces here I'm gonna say auto load and then here I'm going to define another curly brace like this and here we're gonna say class map and in class map we will pass an array and this array will have app so why app because we have our directory called app here so uh, that's why I'm passing this now if I go here in index and these both are loading and working just fine so if I refresh here everything is all right and I am going to comment these two and go ahead and refresh here we get that class app DB is not found so I want to do is I want to load it using composer JSON now so uh, what we can do about it so actually I made a mistake here this needs to get out of here like this so that it's next to uh, that okay so if I do refresh this it's not gonna work because for uh, composer to work we need to do two things first we need to run a command so for that I open terminal again and here I say composer dump auto load and this is going to load the setting for us so if I hit this it is saying generating auto load files and all that now at this point we need to see if we go in a vendor folder there is a file named autoload.php now we need to require this file and this file is going to include all the PHP files those are mentioned here so for example if I go here and I say here require and in require I say vendor slash autoload.php all right and then now if I go here and refresh you can see now things are working again if I go back here command this line go back there refresh it's not working again so now it is working from our uh, composer autoload now another thing is that currently I just mentioned here app so in case you want to load uh, from multiple directories you simply define here another so for example we have a folder named tests so here it's gonna be test like this and it is going to include those files too so currently we are not using those files so now to see if the file is not there or there what we can do we can use this data test.php class so what I do is simply go here and here I'm going to create a, a public function I call it uh, run this class function and what this function will do it will return uh, I am from test directory so that's all it is going to return all right so what we're gonna do is now we're gonna call it so if I go to here and here simply because we already have the tests included here so it should be available so here what I want to say I want to say uh, actually not here not to this I say here new app uh, sorry tests and then after tests we have data tests this is the class and dollar data test and then in this variable we want to call that function the function we just created on this class here Alright, now let's see what happens. So I run this one more time, go here, refresh. So I am from test directories there. So you get the idea now. If I go here, compose it on JSON and remove this tests from here. And now run this composer upload. Now go 
back here, refresh, yeah better. But this is not present, so you get the idea now. If you put here, the main uh, thing is that it is going to see uh, that basically that directory, and then it's going to get it. So uh, we define the namespaces as well, and using namespace here, we are calling the function. And that's working just fine. So if I now do it, go there, refresh, it works. Now uh, there is another way to do it as well, which is basically the PSR4. So what we basically do in that case is that uh, I will remove this and I will clear this. I'll go here and refresh, we get enter. Now here, what we're going to do, we're going to say PSR. Uh, four and here in this object I'm going to say app and then I'm going to say here it's going to be app all right in a moment I'll tell you what is happening here and then here tests all right and here I say loading in tests Alright, so we are saying uh, anything that is inside this directory, we want to uh, load that. And anything inside this directory, we want to load that. And the requirement is in PSR4 that you need to define the namespaces. So namespace here, it is tests. And here we are saying tests. So it's going to look for this test and anything. Uh, starting with that directory, and it's going to load those classes automatically. And the same way, uh, if I go to data controller, here we have app on top. So it says, it says OK, anything with app, uh, load that all. So anything inside it, it's going to load anyway. Now we need to run the composer dump load, go back here, refresh, we get everything working again. Now let's see if I create here a folder. I call it controllers and then I move this file to that folder all right now it is inside it now we need to change here the namespace we need to say now it is inside controllers all right and here where we are calling it here it is going to be controllers as well otherwise it will controllers this so now it still will be working so if I go back here refresh it's still working so you get the idea it is it is still inside this app uh, namespace so it's, it is going for this app directory and anything inside it it is keep on loading those files so we just need to make sure that it is after uh, that whatever directory it is so if I say here folder inside it let's say test just a test folder and create another class test class not PHP I simply gonna start a class name space and I gotta call app controllers and after that we have a test all right and here class and this is going to be test uh, class and we just want this and there uh, we don't know what do we do I put up a constructor here so public function this kind of construct and here I simply say echo uh, from test class okay now you can see it is it's just one more folder inside I go here on index.php uh, where we are including auto load and here I call this so I simply say here new uh, test class and dollar test class and then we actually it's going to I can simply uh, Echo this. Yeah, it is. Oh, 
okay we uh, it is echoing here so we don't need to echo there so we just put it here and it should be in there so okay let's go now refresh and you see from test class that class is also included now so uh, you get the idea now if I go to here and simply remove this portion all right and run the composer on the load copy here refresh we get that app DB and if you include app DB it will say that okay we are also looking for more classes so if I go in now and refresh another kind of looking for another class so to keep on going again and again so the thing is uh, you get the point we basically whatever directory you define here is gonna load all the files inside from that files inside just make sure you have that same namespace defined on those classes so it is an app and inside it it's gonna load all this so it works uh, without any problem so this is how it works so if I think I put it back already so it should be now fine so yeah all is good hope you got the point if uh, you want more videos like this subscribe to the channel share it with others and like the video and I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching